STEM is a topic that's coming up more and more often in the world of education. But what does it mean? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Looking at it like that, that doesn't sound particularly interesting. But if you take a closer look at each subject, you'll see that they're actually far more interesting than most people realise. Most people, when asked what they think science is, will picture an old man in a lab, surrounded by test tubes, with a microscope and a poster of the periodic table. This can be accurate, but science is a much broader subject and covers lots of fascinating other topics as well. Have you ever used one of these? When you've got a bad cold, have you ever taken any of this? Do you wear these? Or these? Well, a scientist was involved in the creation of all of these items. From figuring out how to make the correct formula for the ink in this, to what soothes your throat in this, and making fibres for the creation of this, or the composite materials to make these. What about animals? Do you like animals? Science covers the study of animals. For example, an ichthyologist specialises in studying fish like salmon, swordfish or eels. An ornithologist studies birds such as robins, penguins, ravens or eagles. A mammologist researches mammals like cats, dogs, bears, dolphins, monkeys and lions. That's not all. Science also covers other important topics such as dendrology, climate change, environmental science, meteorology, earthquakes, volcanoes and pollution reduction. And it's not just what's on our planet. Science also covers what's happening in space. Subjects like astronomy, astrophysics, astrobotany, as well as rocket science and solar and galactic astronomy so you can see that there are many topics that science covers. Technology is fascinating. It's everywhere in our lives. Your mobile or cell phone, your laptop or PC. These are obvious technological advancements we're aware of. However, think about some of the other technological advancements of everyday items in our lives that we take for granted. Washing machines, microwaves, a kettle, all forms of transport, glasses, headphones, traffic lights, these are all technological advancements. In the field of medicine, technology is crucial. Take a look at all these devices that have helped medicine improve to help people get better. Hand in hand with technology is engineering. Most people still think of engineering with a narrow definition. If asked to picture an engineer, they will probably think of someone who makes bridges. In fact, engineering covers many things and is split into different categories such as chemical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, interdisciplinary engineering. Going back to your mobile or cell phone, it would have been an electrical engineer that designed the electrical circuits to make the phone work. A mechanical engineer would have been involved in the design and manufacture of aerospace and aircraft products. So forget about flying abroad if mechanical engineers didn't exist. And likewise with cars and trains, all done with the help of a mechanical engineer. And all the roads, bridges and railways for our transportation that those same cars and trains use? That's the work of civil engineers. There are also many other types of engineers, such as an audio engineer, a software engineer, manufacturing engineer, biomedical and agricultural engineer, to name a few. Sadly, maths is possibly the subject that people tend to dislike the most, and also the one that most people think is least applicable to their lives. However, this belief that maths is not applicable isn't true. The engineers mentioned previously use mathematical principles in the design of the various items they build, as do rocket scientists, space scientists and climate scientists. 
So do programmers that make the apps to go on your computer and mobile devices. Apps like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Not only that, but mathematics is fascinating. Ever heard of the Fibonacci numbers? Fibonacci numbers form sequences that can often be found in nature. There are also mathematicians that show how various mathematical formulas explain the existence of multiverses. So why are something like 2x plus 3y equals z plus 2b sounds like it would send you to sleep. What if someone told you that by solving this equation, it could open the door to another universe? Wouldn't that be exciting? So you can see that at first glance, these subjects may sound dull and irrelevant to you. But the truth is that without STEM, we wouldn't be living our current lifestyle. There would be no TV to watch your favourite shows, no comfortable shoes to wear, no way of communicating with friends in a different house, let alone in a different town or country, if we didn't have phones and networks and satellites to connect us. No internet, no electricity, no PCs, no computer games. Those are just luxuries. What about basic survival needs? Without science, technology, engineering and maths, we'd still be living in caves because there would be no one who would know how to design and build a house. We would have no way of cooking that didn't involve an open fire. We would still be washing clothes in the river with no laundry detergent to wash them with. So you can see that not only is STEM interesting and covers lots of different exciting topics, but it also affects you on an everyday basis and is around you in nearly everything that you have or do.